Well, I put it together with the drill motors, uh, all powered off the 3-cell. I'm using my old dead Arduino as a 5 volt regulator for the Arduino, and then the breadboard Arduino, and then there's my new XRF unit. Back over here is my PC, the red light over here is the URF connected on COM4 and it is all connected at the moment if I just plop that there for a second connect the power right then As you can see, a little difficult to drive, perhaps. Uh, especially on a shiny floor with no space. Uh, it also takes a little bit more power on one end. We'll get there, it takes a while to learn to drive anything, doesn't it? That's basically him. For something that's so long and thin, he seems to have quite a bit of stability. I am to leave it like this, I'll have to add a tail of some description. I shall add some support to it. And then I'm off. Oh, damn. Okay, one more. That's much better. Much better run, much better run. It's just... This side, oh, this side definitely has a harder turn running than that side. Okay, one more. There's another one more. There's a minute left on the memory stick. <laughs> Woohoo! Almost ran over my laptop. But there we go. It does at least appear to work to some degree. Uh, more work's needed, but I. Probably running actually better than I thought it would, uh, considering how wide it's become. Obviously, the step amount could reduce the size of it considerably, um, but it didn't need to see. There's it almost hitting my left. Okay, Close. Anyway. More videos I expect soon. I have found a servo as well. So the next thing is to stick the camera on it. Um, 
Really, I want two surveys, but one survey will do. It'll be a start, anyway. Uh, there you go. Theo Jansen-style walker. 